out there in the deepest darkness of space lies a galaxy called Toon City where one man who likes cartoons and draws them like some kind of cartoonist man sets off on a journey for having the most animated of days. This is The Sergio Show Reboot! How's it going? I'm Reboot Sergio Dominguez. Rebooter, that is. And I'm here in my kick-ass Sergio Studios rocket ship. As always, in this first episode of my Reboot Show, just gathering all the imaginative, cartoony things that makes cartoons so gush darn cartoony. Here I am with my good friend, Juan Perez. Juan is just a... Basketball on top of a can of beans with a snow cap on with some tape on it. All right, here we are at our first stop the Money Planet. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this is my first time here. Welcome, Sergio. We've been waiting for you for hundreds of years. You see, that volcano over there needs to erupt, but if we cannot have it erupt, then we will all die. So have that volcano erupt money, and we will say thank you. Well, I do like that offer, so okay, let's give it a shot. Woo! Hmm. Let's see here. Well, this money volcano... It needs to have money come out, but it needs to be happy. It needs to be, what is that magical word? Mm, satisfied. So here I am, rebooted Sergio, and I am just wonderfully shaped out. In these wonderful peeling shapes, especially my beautiful head, surely this volcano will react properly to my mm, design. Uh, oh, hmm, okay, how about the second part? My mannerisms, my interactions, of course, it's like the classic Not Reboot Me, created all the way back a hundred years ago of the year 19, 2008. Clearly the volcano uh, will erupt for that. Mm? Ooh, uh, very fussy. Two out of three, that's not good. Hmm. How about this? Clearly, my personality. As I'm still a man of a cartoonist, it will still like that. It is from the previous version, even though I draw like this. <laughs> you see, it's a horsey. Clearly, this money volcano will shoot out money if I do that like the original, but not really completely. Yeah? Oh? Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, I already used three options. What can I do next? Mm -hmm. Turn back to the original? No, that's ridiculous. I mean, come on, it lasted for ten years. Not because it's successful. It's because that guy who created him just believed in it too well. Darn it, this satire doesn't work without the right context indeed. So, how else will I make this money volcano erupt? Uh, maybe if I kick it so hard and force it to make it money rain, then maybe it will work. All right. Come on, you like this. Come on, like it. Get, come on, it works. Oh no, it's not erupting, it's getting smaller. No, what am I going to do? I know, I guess I have only one option. Introduce something that is profitable, especially back then. And here it is, it's centered because of copyright reasons. Huh? You like it then? Oh, oh, yes, it's raining money! I did it and only me! Oh, I get all credit for this success. I did it! Because of my looks and appeal, and I'm rebooted, that means I made the Vani Volcano erupt. Look at all that money, all them singles. Like, the volcano money is really that stingy. <laughs> like, it's the right demographic to get that money. But, oh well, I don't care. 
And now let's continue with a million more adventures and then we'll get rebooted 80 other times in this adventure episode of the Sergio Show Reboot. Well, I am a Reboot Sergio Dominguez, that is, cartoonist man and whatever, saying... Your days better be animated, or they will be more animated in the future. Hopeful, hungry, my friends. B -b Bye. <sighs> Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Hello and welcome to another episode of the Sergio Show. In this episode, we're in a very special place that I do love occasionally going that I'm trying to introduce to you guys right now. And that is the Toon City Art Store. Yeah, of course. You know, I'm an artist. A lot of people in this universe is an artist, so might as well, right? Art stores are these places where artists come and buy whatever supplies they need for their artwork or just their beautiful hobby of making artwork like cartoons or life drawings or some sort of other third kick-ass artwork or beyond. So I'm here with the budget of... Oh... Not that much, and I'm gonna get myself my own art supply here. Yes, beautiful, beautiful art supplies. We've got some simple little art supplies over here, and then you got some medium tier art supplies over here, and then you have your Christmas and other holiday decorations over there. I don't know, I don't know what holiday we are celebrating, but there they are. And of course, we got those super duper high expensive, only if you have like a license to really use these kinds of art supplies. Wow. These art stores have a lot of amazing things, and it's also kind of inspiring once you really look at it. For example, look at these set of markers. So, so expensive, right? But then they also sell this one. Nice and crummy, but for a good price. So what am I looking for? Well, I can go for this, but then I gotta go for that. If I try this, but then I don't want that. You know, sometimes getting more than one art supply works, especially if having these two separate art materials work together to make one whole art. Of course, probably the most simple common thing to get is a pencil or a writing utensil and paper, especially in a form of a collection of papers held together by a spine or a bind, and it is a sketch of a book. Sketchbook! So, that's what I'm gonna do. Nice run utensil and a sketchbook for not the biggest budget that I have. Hmm. Uh, that paper's too thick. That one's too uh, flimsy and thin. I mean, look. I just blew on it and already disintegrated. So, I uh, know. Hmm. This one's good. Let's see, let me just take a look at the thickness here. Okay, thickness is good. And uh, how many papers is it? Mm, let me flip them. Mm, just enough to have a little portfolio of doodles. And we got it. Yep, I'm selling with this one. Now, writing you the tinsel. Hmm, tinsel sounds good, but it can't just be a regular number two pencil. I don't want to be triggered by school again. Let's see. Um, a little bit more advanced, but not too advanced. Yeah, that one I can just charge and put to side later, but no, too much. Uh, this, no. Um, the, the wood is came from a different country that is uh, way too valuable, so no. But uh, the graphite I hate when I sharpen a pencil and the graphite just falls apart. So what am I really looking for for a drawing utensil? I need to be on a level of a pen, but not that much of a level on a pencil. Hmm, it needs to be sharp and there I like a like a pen, but it needs to have the resource of a pencil. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
The mechanical pencil, I finally found it. Oh no, wait, what is this? A point five? No, just one simple press and it'll break easily. Oh, point seven! There you are, a mechanical pencil point seven. I finally got it. And there we go, it is complete for now. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I can't wait to take you home and just make random little pointless doodles. And thank you for watching this simple little episode of The Sergio Show. I am Sergio Dominguez, and be sure that whatever you get from an art store gives you the creativity, inspiration, and imagination that art supplies and your imagination can bring you. <laughs> yeah. Well, saying, have an animated day. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Hello and welcome to the Sergio Show. I am a robot Sergio Dominguez here in this wonderful robotic world where everybody's a robotic automaton. But you know that since this show's been going on for 10,000 years. So for this episode, I'm just going to show you around Robot Tune City where everything is automated and electronic and also made of gears, wires, and sprockets and such. Anyway, let's go. Now, wow! Ah, isn't this place so beautiful? Everything is just so chromatic and beautiful and shiny. Good thing we're not share living this world with something that's not made out of metal or wires and cords, but us machinery that fully understands our robotic emotions and understanding of how we all work together as a society of cartoon robots. Yeah. I am just so happy, I'm gonna do a dance. As a robot of myself, of course. Oh, anybody else who watch this would be super annoyed, but since we're all robots and we've always been robots, we're used to just dancing like robots because we've always been robots. Yeah! Now I just want to top this episode off with something special. What could that be? Hmm? Excuse me, we need one more person to play in our team of street basketball. What? Street basketball? Let me check my calculations. Mmm, no sorry, I am not qualified to play street basketball, as not in my technical programming to do so. Oh, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Oh, I understand. Give him the chip. What? Click. Downloading. Bing! Oh! Now I do have the capabilities and installation to play street basketball. I will join you. Good. Great. Dribble this ball. This ball that's somehow made of metal but somehow bounces like a bouncy ball. Wait, do we have bouncy balls in this universe? Oh well, I don't care. Ah. So we're almost done with this game. We 
just need one point. All right, we got this. Here we go. Yeah! We did it. We made it to basketball. Whatever this is. Somehow I have uh, skills, but I don't fully understand the sport. Okay, well, that's it for this episode programmed of the Sergio Show in Robot World. It would be so weird if there's like a other world that is just not a robot, but eh, thinking too much about it. This is already my what, third mentioning of this. Anyway, that's it. I am Robot Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Good night. End of transmission. <laughs>show episode of the Sergio show so it's me Sergio the talk show host yes thank you to seeing you all again in this talk show format so we have a great show for you guys I got a special guest from a released animated short and maybe I will play a game with this guy all right let's begin with the monologue (coughs) so have you heard this about the news Oh, it's pretty shocking. It's pretty insane and amazing. But nobody really expected this. Our president of the United States of this animated world is stinky. Yeah, I know, right? What a surprise. Well, apparently he did something stinky in private because apparently his job lets him do that. And the way this government of cartoons is set up makes it stinky. Stinky! So hence, our president is doing something stinky. And other people in that government is trying to find out how stinky he really is. But this guy has been known for being so stinky before. And through some weird miscalculations, he became our stinky president. Doing stinky things because, uh... Oh, he's just that stinky, folks. I mean, wow. What do you think about this stinky thing? Okay! Enough with the monologue. Let's get to my first guest. First, let me transition to the Sergio Show band. Oh, yeah, I have no band. Uh, Wow. Is it again? Oh, well, whatever. All right, come back to me by my desk. (laughs) All right, let's introduce my first guest. He's part of this new video called Cinema Tour. Now, please give a warm welcome to a tour guide named Len. Hi, Lynn. It's great to see you. Oh, it's great to see you too, Sergio. It's an honor being here. So, Len, tell me, what is this project you're in? Well, I'm in this thing called Cinema Tour. It's a video where I give everybody a tour, and it's supposed to be a simple Hollywood studio tour. But once you know it in these kinds of videos, it goes horribly wrong. I don't want to spoil it too much, but let's just say things become sentient when they're not supposed to be sentient. Yes, what an adventure indeed. Now, how did you get this job? Well, I did apply online and auditioned a couple times, but I just wanted to be a simple happy tour guide. I love movies and I love the studio that I work for, Maxible Studios! 
Oh, that sounds understandable, even though I applied and never got hired by studio, but oh well, optimism, anyway. So, what was that experience like? Oh, it was just intense. Things crashing all over the place, me trying to be a good tour guide throughout the whole thing. But, who really knows what it's like to be a tour guide? Hmm, I kind of get it. So, what are you doing now? What, what's like afterwards? Well, I actually don't know. As of this recording, we don't know if this video was successful or not. So, uh, I'm either doing a sequel or just sitting around twiddling my thumbs. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll keep being a tour guide somewhere somehow, but I'm also still trying to figure out what happened to me in that cinematic tour. Well, that's it for this interview. So, let's play a game together. All right, ready. Okay, here's a really intense talk show game. Here's this ball. Over there's the cup. Throw it. You only have one shot. Okay! Uh, uh. Huh. Oh well, next time. Thank you for being here, Len. Hey, it's been great. Thank you for having me. Anyway, that's all for this episode of the talk show episode of the Sergio Show. I am Sergio Dominguez, saying, have an animated day! <laughs> Sergio Studios.
Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! amounts of shit
Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Don't ask me how I got in this box. Hey, it's me, Sergio the Hippo, with another episode of The Sergio Show. Okay, for this episode, I'm breaking into this animal science station, and I'm going to rescue that experiment that I saw in the previous episode. Now, it took me this long, but I finally figured out how to get in. Just sneak into the box of leaf balls somehow, and then I'm going to have to run for my life and get that creature. And then I know where to take him. I just know. I just got to do this quick as possible. Okay. One, two, three, go! <laughs> I'm here to save you! Come on, let's go! Oh, oh, oh my face! Oh, oh, like a hippo, I got a charge! Or was that rhino? Whatever! Oh. There you are. See, I'm gonna press these buttons. Uh, let's see, is this the right one? Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. There. All right, human. Are you ready to be set free rightfully right? Aw, <laughs> he's already so excited. Okay, here we go. Don't do it. Huh? Professor Monkis? He needs to be set free! He's not built for this. Look, you don't know this, but he actually has a purpose for being made by animals in this universe. Just let him settle here and we will take care of him. You know, monkey, animal world, all that stuff. Just believe me, or else. Well, since you put it that way... Whoop. No! Ah, huh? worth it. You. You let go of my creation. You let go of my creation. You let go of my creation. set the human free hopefully it'll be worth it where he's going anyway thank you for watching this episode of the sergio show animal world i am sergio the hippo saying have an animated day uh, uh, oh no uh, uh, oh! <laughs> Sir.
Sergio Studios. <laughs> It's the Sergio Show! Well, here we are! It's gonna be that kind of episode, folks. Yep, a third one. A trilogy. This episode will be part of a third episode of the series of kind of episodes where I take an idea, do it three times or more, but just different enough where it doesn't become that repetitive. Even though that depends who watches it. So. Like the other special episodes, like my Uncle Polacco episodes, or the Tired Sergio episodes, or whatever third thing that also have made three episodes or more, this episode, oh yes, this episode will get the third episode trilogy treatment. Oh yes, it's the reversal episode. Begin! And it was also reversed. Hey, <laughs>
Dangerous. <laughs> It's the Sergio Show!
Sergio Studios. <laughs> It's the Sergio Show! Yeah! Uh, hey everybody! Welcome to a season finale episode of the Sergio Show! I am Sergio Dominguez! Why is this special? Well, since it is a season finale episode, we're gonna end it on a high note! Wait, did I say high note? I mean a low note! Yes, that's right, we're gonna have a bottle budget cutback episode! Because that's the kind of episodes you do like! Yeah, no one tells me those kinds of episodes work or not work, but either way, this episode's gonna happen, and it's gonna start any second now, where this show is gonna be done so, so cheaply, and I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get the show back to normal. Okay, everybody, ready? Ready? Here we go! Oh, nice and low budget! Whoa! Oh! Huh? Oh! What? What? What's a. Where am I? It seems I'm inside a sketchbook oh so i'm just gonna be in pencil sketches inside a sketchbook huh well better work with what i have and what i have is uh, not that much oh well better begin my quest to find the money for the show but you know this journey's not gonna be that easy it's not like there's gonna be a door that says money over here or anything Oh, would you look at that? Over there, there is a door that says money over here. Oh, oh boy. I can't wait to check it out right now. Oh boy, here comes the budget for the show. Oh, here goes nothing. And I do mean nothing. I mean, this show has no budget. All right. Here we go. Ah! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, the horror! Oh, fire and false advertising! Oh, no, this is not what I asked for! I asked for money, now whatever this is! Oh, my God! Oh! 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 oh. Even though I'm smiling right now, I am just relieved. Can't believe this door promised money when it was nothing like that. Oh! Better check on it again. Oh, oh my god, why did I do that again? Oh, oh my god, why? Oh. Oh, we were kidding. We were just not selling you this, actually. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I need to milk this scene. Oh. Okay, so that wasn't it. Uh, there's gotta be somewhere where I can get the budget for the show! Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, there gotta be some other way I can get the budget for the show! Oh, hey look! It's the budget for the show! How convenient! And by the looks of it, it looks pretty legit. Now all I have to do is simply go there and just get the jar out. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Let me change this facial expression real quick. There we go. Oh, 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 the budget for the show. It's across this cliff or ditch or whatever. And by the looks of it, instead of just walking around it, I have to leap over or uh, make a hurdle or jump over or whatever is supposed to symbolize me actually earning and working through to get the money for the show, but, you know, uh, 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 symbolism and, and stuff. Either way, I just gotta, just gotta get across and uh, get that jar for the funding for the show. You know how it is. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, the budget for the show is right here. The ditch is nice and steep, kind of. All I need to do is be ready for this. Okay. I'm ready to make the jump. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing again. All right. Here I go. Whoa. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. I actually made the jump. Yeah, I did it. I made the jump, and here's the budget for the show. Here it is. I finally got it. It doesn't look like it, but look, I got it. Think. 
I made it past the jump and I got the budget funding for the show. Yay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can't wait to see that. With just one hand. If I could see ah, here, the funding for the show. I can't wait to see how much it is. Uh, and it is. Oh my god. That's even more than I expected. We're saved. Yay. Well, we did it. Oh, wow, look, you see, I'm inked in. <laughs> I guess the budget for the show is starting to kick in. Well, anyway, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching and supporting me through this, uh, you know, uh, cutback, you know, downgraded episode. But, uh, hey, I hope you're still entertained by it. Anyway, I am Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Studios.